Hey there, hi there, Aquarius in the house. Yeah, that's right. So, obviously, I love tarot card reading. Obviously, I love reading my horoscopes and astrology and all that. Um, so, I'm like online reading different like magazine articles on like horoscopes, and like everyone's like, it's the age of Aquarius. And all these other tarot card readers are like, it's the age of Aquarius. And I'm like, yes, it definitely is. Yeah. So, um, you know, just beautiful weather, beautiful vibes, beautiful energy, just beauty everywhere. So, welcome to your weekly reading. <laughs> Um, and I'm going to be giving you guys this Dreams of Gaia tarot card reading today. Um, it's a dream tree reading, so it's like, um, what am I, the words I'm, I'm blanking. Okay, so basically like, so when we have dreams, it's sometimes hard for us to interpret what we're dreaming and like what things are meaning and their significance. So, um, this reading is just to help you get like some clarity and to like release any negative energy any negative vibes coming in to just kind of like counter that with like positivity positive vibes positivity all day every day ah so that's what we're gonna be doing right now so the first card we have is the seeker card and that is you that's what represents you in your dreams we have knowledge Yes, you guys are very smart. You guys, like, know a lot of information. You're very knowledgeable. Um, wow. You guys are just very, like, no wonder everyone keeps saying Age of Aquarius because you guys know what's at, what's up with what. Um, so let's, ex oh, this again, this is a major arcana card too as well. So let's go in and let's look up the knowledge and see what this means. Skills, understanding, training, education, and practical experience. Does bias and unfounded prejudice close you to new knowledge? Improve upon the knowledge that you have. Where is your knowledge taking you? Does what you are learning now serve a practical purpose? Create a better future by continuing your studies. The knowledge card represents the first of eight primary reasons for being the acquisition of knowledge. Surround yourself with books and information. We win in our physical forms, exist to learn as we learn to exist. Knowledge is power, and without it, we are powerless. It is knowledge that enables you to learn a living. Yeah, you guys are really, really just learning to exist, like existing to learn. Knowledge is power. Then we have the second card, the Ace of Earth. This makes a lot of sense because you guys, you guys are very smart and you guys have a lot of knowledge and you're getting what's going on right now. And this ace of earth is here to say like, you're right. What you know, what you're learning, what you're doing, what path you're on is the right path. And you have the ace of earth card. This is the current mood or energy of your environment. So good environment, good energy here with the ace of earth card. New beginnings, goals, motivation, um, starting a new, new financial or career opportunity. This could be where the knowledge comes in because you guys are learning about a new job that you're already like very skilled at, but like this is still new for you. A new beginning found in practicality and pragmatism. This is the energy of the Ace of Earth. It is time to be grounded in your approach and seek tangible outcomes that meet your desires. Um, the second branch is a possible strength or weakness that may impact upon the present. Oh, the 10 of fire. Okay. So somebody here, uh, has a major chakra alignment, <laughs> major third eye alignment. Wow. They're just like shining bright like a diamond shine bright like a diamond that rihanna song that i absolutely love i love rihanna i love that song i want to listen to that song after this reading <laughs> okay so the ten of diamonds okay so let's see here 
This is, uh, or not ten of diamonds. Oh my god, just a ten of diamonds. Oh my god, you guys must be getting some diamonds or something. Um, so this is the ten of fire, 253. You guys are the diamond. You guys are the bright shining diamond. 253. Um... Doing self mastery, mastery, master of both craft and self. Again, knowledge. The ten of fire symbolizes mastery, not just a skill or a craft, but oneself. Yeah, in order to become a true master, you need to understand that you are like dedicated, that you're disciplined, but you are of your own. Like, you are your own force to be reckoned with, if that makes sense. Like, you don't belong to anybody else's forces. Like, everybody else's forces, like, are not your forces. Like, you know, like, in Star Wars, like, the force is one with you. <laughs> um, Like that. You know, like, you guys are a light energy. You guys are a, uh, a bright energy. Mm. And you guys are just, like you guys are like illuminating this uh, mastery of your craft, whatever your skill or your craft is, like you're at master level of it. Maybe you're working on your master's degree. Maybe you already got your master's degree. He acts with deliberation and with complete awareness of the effect of his actions will have upon himself and his environment. He is not only confident, he is also capable. Yeah, like it's not like you're just walking around with this like fake confidence that's like not real. Like you are real. You are authentic. Um, and then we have, um, this is definitely strength. The third branch is the present. The crone. Okay, so the crone, um, this is, um, an older, mature, feminine energy. Um, it doesn't have to be masculine or feminine. It can just. It can be either or. Like, it doesn't have to be a male or female. It can be either or. It could be both. It could be whatever you want it to be. But basically, like, the crone is just very wise. Wise within her years. Wise and intuitive. She knows what, what's going on. She knows what's what. Like, look at her. She's got her, she's already got, like, her magical sapphire glowing. Pointed directed at mushrooms. Pointed, pointed directed at the, the moon, the new moon coming in. This looks like um crescent moon. But then it's coming in for a new moon, which is happening very soon, in like about six days. <laughs> um, then there's the, the the crow or the raven. Um, they're both like the same thing, basically. Um, but like, you know, it's there with her. It's the crow. It's like, hey, you know what? This is probably like a crow, right? <laughs> um, so it's like, hey, like I know what's what. Um, I love her hair. She's got like the Maleficent like hair kind of, sort of. Um, so she's, you know, she's, she knows what's going on like <laughs> so i feel like somebody some of you have this person in your life that's like i know what's what like i know what's happening here like this isn't no you know <laughs> like um no nah, this isn't old old news to me like i know what's what like i know what's going on here uh this is you know this is you know i don't know what i'm trying to say i'm gonna get just another card okay moving on Three of Earth. Oh, I love this card. Okay, so he's like a, a woodland creature. He's um, planting some some seeds, some acorns. This little squirrel, you know, is probably like his familiar. He's like planting the the acorns. You know, there's these all these beautiful flowers growing around him. You know, uh, there's morning glories. There's like daisies. There's these pink, purple, yellow, lots of, lots of nature ivy. I love these ivy. Oh my God. I'm like obsessed with this. Like I want to get some like fake ones <laughs> to decorate my apartment so bad. Um, so this is the three of earth. Um, so let's take a closer look at this three of earth card. This three of earth card is um, the first of three possible choices or outcomes. So the crone is the present, what's going on right now. And then you have, sorry, hold on one second. All right, sorry about that. So we were at like the three of earth. So I just want to get back to that. Um, this is your one, two, three, four. So this is your fourth card. Um, so this is the present. Um, and this is... Um, I think last time I said it was the fourth branch. Well, let's just pull an extra card for, like, right? Who cares? The child. Yeah. 
wow. This child energy right now is like innocence, beauty, um, moonlight shining here, the hummingbird with the daisy. This is like you guys are just like in this present, beautiful, amazing, wonderful moment. And this definitely is like aligning with you right now. And then we have um, the um, three of earth. And this is the first of three choices or possible courses of action for the present or future. And this is the three of earth card. Ambition, sowing seeds, groundwork, energy, investment, sacrifice, fertility, outcomes, time to make preparations, risking future goals and ambitions, investment, sacrifice equals reward, a time of restriction or adversity, increased opportunity. The three of earth represents a time of preparation. It's the time to sow the seeds born of thought, need, and desire in fertile soil and do what is required in order to make those seeds grow. It is time for you to do the necessary groundwork. Remember the outcome can only be equal to the investment you are willing to make in here and now. Three of Earth can also symbolize the time of sacrifice in the weeks and months ahead. All right. I don't see you guys making, like, I don't see you guys, like, needing to make sacrifices in the sense of, like, giving something up. I just see you guys having more offered to you guys in the future. Um, we have masculine and feminine energy here. Um, this is, let's see, Fire. Hmm. Um, passive aggressive um, creation, destruction, action, inaction, masculine, feminine. Time to evaluate and realign. Allow the energy to increase and ebb. Embrace the energy that best suits your needs. Too much of one, not enough of the other. Feminine energy serves to nurture. The 11 of fire is balancing and realignment card. It symbolizes the importance of balancing our masculine and feminine energies and to remind us we are and we will always be a mix of both. Our physical gender is irrelevant. The 11 of fire asks that we look beyond gender stereotypes and, uh, to how we respond and to react to day-to-day -day experiences. Yeah, that's really important. Definitely. Um, and then, so we have first, second, and then third possible outcome is the uh, eight of earth here so let's see what the eight of earth has to say one seventy two Growth, manifestation, accomplishment, success, abundance, wealth, appreciation, success, wealth, and love. Do what you love. Love what you do. Make plans for the future. A time of abundance ahead. Confidence in a future outcome. Do not rest on your laurels. Money does not buy happiness. Lose the lack mentality. The aid of earth symbolizes success, wealth, and love. The manifestations of a positive attitude. Doing what you love and loving what you do. This is a very optimistic card. One that suggests a time of abundance, fruitfulness, and a good harvest ahead. A peaceful, happy home, career, confidence, respect of your peers. What more could you ask for? All of the seeds born of past planting are growing well, and you can be confident that the outcome you need will manifest. This can also be a good time to think about taking the next big leap. Rather than resting on your laurels, you have it within you to go further and reach greater heights if you so desire, especially if you remain committed to doing everything in the best of your ability. Yeah, so Aquarius, you guys have a lot of potential. You guys have a lot of abundance. You have a lot of abilities. And I see that coming here into fruitation here. You are planting the seeds to grow into this beautiful, wonderful energy, um, masculine or feminine. You're, you are very sure of what you're doing. You're very um, positive that what you're doing is the right thing to do. And that is true. It is the right thing to do. What you're, what you're working on is really important. Like, don't let anybody sidetrack you. Um, then we have the f next um, few weeks ahead. The two of earth. You have the two of earth, the three of earth, and the eight of earth. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's so funny. If you guys get the seven of earth next, I'm going to die. Oh, I had to do it. Nine of earth. Awesome. So you guys have the nine of earth. I really look at these like three cards here. This card, this card, and then this card. I feel like they're all like earth sisters, like of the queen of earth. Like the queen of earth is their mother, but then like they have three sisters. Um, so this is the next few weeks ahead is the Chew of Earth card. Okay. And yeah, this is balancing, alignment, balancing, love, prosperity coming in. If you're doing too much, you could be trying to juggle a lot of things at once, but the Chew of Earth, um, like goddess is like here to be like, you know what? Don't try to do too much. Like try to like, you know, unburden yourself here. And then we have the nine of earth. Um, this is someone or something from the present that may have influence. Yeah. She's like, you know, hand over your burdens. Like don't be holding back here. Let release anything and you can hand it over to me. Like, come on now, Aquarius. Like we got this. We got this. We're, we're going to do okay here. You're going to do all right here. Um, you know, and she's holding this bowl right here, right, for you to just, like, hand over your problems, right? Um, and then we have someone or something from the past that may have influence. So this is the past. This is self. So your self might be having some hardships right now. Um, so your self might be having some hardships right now. Like, I see that you're, like... You're trying to align yourself here. Like you have these three doves above you. You have these two dragons either side of you. You're trying to align your heart chakra, your hand chakras, receiving and giving love, um, your self-love, self taking care of yourself. And then we have your subconscious feelings and thoughts. Um, so, yes, so, so this is your subconscious feelings and thoughts. It makes a lot of sense because, like, look at all this power here, right? Your fingers, your right here, the lotus flower, your hands are attached with this dagger. Um, somebody might have hurt you in the past. It might be having a hold on you. But this is just all about, like, um, like endless universes, endless possibilities um, that you have coming in for you, uh, Aquarius. So endless possibilities here, Aquarius. And then your final card is the next few months ahead, and this is healing. And yeah, I definitely see this coming in for you, this healing. There's like these cute little frogs. Maybe you guys like frogs. I don't know. They're cute though. And like, you know, there's this man, and he's like very, looks very strong, looks like an older version of Thor. Like he's got the Viking, right, look about him. Um, You know, he could be a, a god, a Thor god, a god of like that uh, Viking mythology and so forth, you know, because you do have like this Celtic right symbol here. Um, and then, you know, these frogs, they're like, they like him. They're like, oh, what you doing? Like, what you up to? He's there for healing. He's there for clarity. He's there to help you. Um, let's take a, like a deeper look here at the healing card. Again, another major arcana here. Yeah, so this healing card is coming in for you right now, and um, this healing card is all about release, purification, forgiveness, transformation, um, do what's necessary to increase well-being. You need to forgive, find the source of disease and distress, nurture passions and seek pleasure, let go of definitions and labels, a time to connect body, mind, spirit, and soul. The healing card illustrates our third reason for being. However, it covers healing on several levels and does not necessarily suggest or imply that you would you are wounded or in need of healing, at least on a conscious level. A happy, safe, and peaceful life does not always accord us with perfect health and well-being. Every person is vulnerable to disease, whether it manifests in physical, mental, or emotional stress, or as a feeling of emptiness and longing that is born of spiritual wounds. So now is the time for healing, and that's going to be what's coming in for you, Aquarius. And you have all this help and support here for you. And love and light always. And thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe as it does help my channel grow. If you really did enjoy this reading, uh, please feel free to leave in the comments below a positive review. Um, it really helps me, um, especially um, <laughs> since I have kids and I need to be able to pay the bills. Um, all right. Thank you again and have a blessed, wonderful night. Bye.